strategy is count on two or count on three. Because within the strategy, yes, the kids are counting on. We don't want to encourage counting, but to count on two or three is quick enough to be within a few seconds that it should be fine. Um, and the trick to this one would be that if we see an equation that has the two come first, let's say two plus seven, we want the children to understand to begin with a larger number and then count on from there, because it's easier for their brain. Much easier than starting at two and counting on seven more. So we want the students to be able to actually verbalize, start with a bigger number and then count on from there. And again, either the two or a three is perfectly fine to count on from there. So we're going to first begin by thinking of two plus six. And in a situation like that, it could be, I had two cupcakes and someone gave me six more. How many do I have in all? So the first thing is I want to say to myself, well, six is larger than two. So I want to begin with my six. So I would take six objects out. Again, any kind of counter, two-sided counters, any kind of jelly beans or um, anything at all. So I want to get six. So one, two, three, four, five, six. And actually, one good way is for the students to actually orient the objects into a position that's familiar to them. If they play uh, games with dice, they'll notice that that's a six right away, and they don't have to actually count it, so that's a good thing to encourage as well. So I have my six, I need to have, add two more to that. So I'd grab a different color, and I'd have two more. So I have to tr figure out how many are all here. Now, developmentally, students can count every single one, want them pointing to each one, but we want to encourage them as soon as they can to count on. Start with the six, you don't need to count that out, and count on seven, eight. So you have a, a two plus a six. We turn it into the six plus two, just counting that on. Similarly, if I were to do um, a three plus four, I'll say four is bigger than three, so I could start with my four objects, and again, you can even make them like a dice with a four, and then I would get my three more, and we would again start with saying four, five, six, seven, to get to our seven. Now, we can then progress and do that actually on a 10 frame to help organize our thoughts. So if we're going to start with a two plus a six, it's not going to matter what order we put them in because the total amount is going to be the same. We talked to the children about that being a turnaround principle. And in fact, I can even write here for you as well. So we can have um, the six plus the two. So they can notice that if we change the order of these numbers, which we call add-ins, the sum is going to be the same. So I got to begin with my two, and then I want to add six more. So I'm going to have one, two, three, four, five, six. Now I'm going to figure out how many that is in all. And there are a variety of ways we can do this. We could count them all up, but hopefully the children are going to realize that's not very efficient. We could do a fast five, and then six, seven, eight. Or we can think of it being the six, and we're counting on seven, eight. And some students, when seeing it like this, actually realize there's two more to make a 10, and then that's eight that is there. So there are a variety of ways we can get to the eight, but no matter what way we do, we're going to get the eight. We want to validate the fact that there are many different ways for us to get there, and we want to try to find the most efficient um, ways for our brain. So we can then progress this to even be just drawing out pictures of those shapes. So I could do, I might begin with my six this time. I can do six circles, so that'd be a fast five and one more, making six, and I could do two more, let's say, triangles. And again, I've got to figure out how many is that in all, and I could count them all up as being the first level. Next level, we can count on. We could do a fast five and count on from there, or just see, oh, I've got six. I can count on seven, eight. And the next step would be actually having them do that in their um, heads as a mental math strategy. But then we can progress on to some other math tools. So if we have our rec and rec again, I want to do two plus six, but six is bigger. So I'm going to do my six first. I would move over my six in one step. And I'm already seeing that my six is made up of a five and then one more. And then I want to add two more. So I'd slide one more over, two more over. I'm going to figure out how many this is. But you can see again that benchmark of a five is being shown here. So we know that that's eight. So we can encourage the children just to even do five, six, seven, eight. Or if they see it as the six they first moved over, if they have six, seven, eight, want them to count on from that six. We also have that in the Cuisinier rods. So we have the six rod plus the two rod matches up to the eight rod. We can think of that as being the turnaround principle too. Have the two come first, so that two plus six equals eight. Um, and even showing a model of the four plus three equaling the seven. So four plus three equaling the seven. We can show that that's true. And then we have the number line. So we could start with our um, six. We want to count on two more. One, two. We know that we're on our eight. And then we can do the four plus three. So we would, again, go to the four first, because the four is the larger of those two numbers, and count on three. One, two, three. We end up being on our seven. So we know that four plus the three more makes that seven.